Kikuyu brothers and sisters, it is a, it is now high time that you come out in large numbers. Tax kwa ukas. Na ukas ukiangalia vizuri, wana pesa, ata kwa... Eh, let me not waste even a minute. Eh, when you compare the deeds of President Ruto and the ones that Mr. Uhuru Kinyata was doing for Kenyans, first of all, you will actually acknowledge Mr. Uhuru Kinyata because during campaigns, Ruto was castigating Uhuru's government right from borrowing, right from the cost of living, defending the Mamamboga during campaigns, defending border borders. But we have come to learn that it was just hoodwinking the voters to vote for him because right now, he hasn't delivered any of the promises that he actually did what? He actually uh, promised the hustlers. Right now, people are going hungry because they have nothing uh, to do what? Uh, to put in their mouths. Kikuyu brothers and sisters, it is, a, it is now high time that you come out in large numbers. Anytime we call for Mandamano, be on the forefront because finally your time has come. You stood and declared that Uhuru was not your kingpin. You said that Ruto was your kingpin. But today, your businesses have been affected more than the rules. You are saying that you wanted a man who was circumcised. You now have a man who is circumcised. The man who was not circumcised will deny the chance to lead you. And now, you made that cake, be ready to eat it. You made that bed, kindly be ready to sleep on it. Uh, the previous day, it was addressed that landlords, landlords are going to pay higher. Landlords have been targeted, not only landlords, but also landowners. If you own a large tract of land and it is not being utilized, that land is going to be subdivided by the government to give to those people who don't own one. Uh, my question is, all our leaders in high ranks own those large tracts of land. If the president really means what he says, let us now see from his cabinet all those people who own large tracts of land. Once they subdivide Izo Mashamba za Marafikizake, Wakigawa, Ndiyo tuamini kweli anafight vita ya unyaguzi wa mashamba Kenya. Because recently we saw youths who are mobilized by the government to invade Uhuru Kinyata's farm. And that is the beginning of what I'm trying to say. That is now claiming that all landowners, kama menunua shamba yako na hautumi, umesema utatumia muda fulani ukifika, Wamepanga kusubdivide that piece of land na wagawia watu. So, we must fight that. If someone acquired this piece of land rightfully, without ways of corruption, I don't think there is anywhere in our constitution whereby one is supposed to be snatched that piece of land from uh, himself. Kama alipata hiyo land uh, kwanjia inayofa. Tax kwa ukas. Na uka sukiangalia vizuri, wana pesa, ata kwa, kwa stage maali wana tanga tangaka wakiuza vitu zao, sayi watu wana pesa, ata wenye wana safiri wana pesa ya kununua vitu. Saa uka waki, waki zidiwa tena usuru ingine kwa uka asu, watakua na mnagani na wakati wa maali wanaendaga kuchukua vitu, wanachukua na beikali, because bida, beyao ime, ime sutu zaidi. Saa sijui hii Kenya tutaelekea wapi tutalikuwa ya wapi. Because pesa yu tunasanya kama kawaira pesa mzuri ya bawi natakikana ibadilise uchumi ya Kenya. Sio vizuri tena wazidi ku, ku, kuongeza taksingine kwa, kwa wanaiji na wanaiji wana kazi. Kazi ya nilikuwa na saidi ya wanaiji zingine zote mingi sahi me collapse. Hata hizi kampuni hakuna kampuni mpya yenye miajiri watu na yenye miajiri watu watu wengi wa mefukuzwa kazi because products, bea products ni iku juu zaidi. Samu wenye kampuni, hakuna vila wata, watanunua products beikali na tena wakikuja huku pia 
wanakatwa usuru na wafanyikazi pia wanataka pesa na wanafanyakazi pia pesa yao imewekwa ime juu ya yenye inakatwa sasa unajua wafanyikazi wengi wamefunga job and finally on shakahola it is actually stressing us when we learn that bodies are still being exhumed it is actually disheartening that yesterday the nine bodies were exhumed serikali ilikuwa wapi hilo swali linasumbua akili zetu sana it means today when we are here me and you kesho tunaweza itiwa relative wetu wewe ndugu yako anaweza kuwa amepatikana kwa hizo mili zenye zinapatikana shakahola na wakati huo kulikuwa na serikali a quarter of today's government was in the previous government during that time sasa pia hatutaki kuona kiongozi wa saizi anasimama anasema ati ye likuwa ni serikali ya uhuru ilirala kwa kazi hiyo serikali ya uhuru nusu yake ni serikali yenye iko ya saizi kwa serikali ya ruto so even if you are in government today and you are found to be culpable of having slept on your job during the time Mackenzie and his believers uh, started taking away the livelihoods of the innocent Ken Kenyans you must be ready to be held responsible because we cannot admire such a situation uh, to take place again in our country Kenya thank you very much because there is always tomorrow atukuli kumaliza tunakula kushiba my name is Vile Nisema ni mheshimiwa Mr Robert Makoha Wangoho Thank you very much. Jana nilikuwa nasema serikali aachane na mambo ya huyu Yesu ya Bungoma. Eh a ule ni mtu raia hata kama alijisifu yeye ni Yesu lakini ni mtu common wananchi. Sasa kuna haja wateste common wananchi. Mwenye inatakana wa Kenya wasugulika nayo ule mtu ya Sakahola. Ndio inatakikana afanye investigation zaidi ijui watu ajue hii kifo ya hawa watu ilitoka namna gani na chanzo yake ilikuwa nini ju hao watu ni wengi hapa jana walitoa watu 29 ni chungu zaidi na tena hapa Kenya wenye nilikuwa na laumu hao wanajeshi wetu wanajeshi wetu wamelala zaidi na inji zingine kuna vitu zingine nikitendeka wanajeshi waezi lala vile wanajeshi wetu walilala hivyo na watu wanakufa kiolalale sasa hii watu wakitoka kwa barabara wanaulewa na wanajeshi wana wamenyamaza tu sasa wanajeshi wetu wamelala kwa class zaidi hii Kenya ni yao na wanaichi wanalinda walichagliwa walinde wanaichi so kukaa tu kwa barracks na vitu mingi natendeka hapa Kenya vitu mbaya zaidi sasa wanajeshi wetu ni mbaya zaidi wamelala e, nikiongea kidogo juzi ndio wale aliandika kitabu kingine hiyo kitabu sio vizuri kulingana hao walisachukua usultani wakaingia kwa power sasa history mingi vile ilikuwa to seven nini 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 wangiwachana nayo Yu tukiongea tukirudi to 7 hata kama ali lose lakini Ruto alifanya vitu mbaya zaidi sana alipiga alipigania wakapelekwa ICC sasa wakiongea about 7 hiyo kitabu wanarudisha watu nyuma na sasa hii Kenya inataka niendelee mbele hata time ya kukaa ya kutangaza hiyo kitabu yao inatakikana wakae watangaze uongo imerudi chini na imerudi ukweli sio vitu ya uongo uongo ya kuleti chuki hao walisachukua power na kama alianza kurudisha viti ya nyuma sisi pia tutarudisha viti ya nyuma juu hiyo kitabu wangewachana nayo wangeandika kitabu kingine yenye inasemekana unga itarudius mpaka 100 bob mafuta itarudius mpaka 140 mchele itakuwa hivyo hivyo mpaka mafuta itakuwa lakini hiyo kitabu yao ya kufufua maneno yenye iliyopita ni mbaya zaidi ni hayo tu